I present to you the Adjustable Height Bench Grinder Stand. Its purpose is to improve the safety and comfort of bench grinder users in the Cal Poly machine shops. The power supply on the back of the stand plugs into the wall, converts 120 volts AC to 12 volts DC, and powers a strong and robust linear actuator which quickly moves the stand up and down. The columns are allowed to slide but kept stiff by an adjustable UHMW plain bearing backed by CNC aluminum brackets. The preload on the bearings can be adjusted with an Allen wrench. To adjust the stand, the user simply presses the mounted rocker switch up or down. Hi, I'm Zach. Joining me is Mike, Dan, and Joe. We are the Adjustable Height Bench Grinder Stand Senior Project Team, sponsored by Mr. Jim Collins. Our project goals were to design and build an adjustable height bench grinder stand that is affordable, reliable, and fast and easy to use. The stand will serve to improve the safety and comfort of students in the Cal Poly machine shops. In choosing how we would get the stand to move up and down, we consider using hydraulics, uh, pneumatics, a counterbalance system, and an electric linear actuator. We chose to use an electric linear actuator because of its simplicity, reliability, and low cost. A spinning bench grinder can cause a lot of vibration, so having a stand that can isolate the vibration is critical for providing a positive user experience. To accomplish vibration isolation, we modeled the bearing and column stiffness using FEA and input the stiffness value into a MATLAB model to predict the frequency response of the stand. During the testing phase, we validated that we had met our vibration target using an accelerometer and an oscilloscope. Another important design decision was the selection of our linear actuator. We needed an actuator that was both powerful, cost-effective, and rugged enough to survive in a machine shop environment. The Electrac HD actuator from Thompson Linear fulfilled all these requirements and now lies at the heart of our grinder stand. I'll be discussing the manufacturing and testing process for this project. On the slide in front of you, you can see some of the stand's components with the respective manufacturing processes. Uh, any two-dimensional parts were cut on the water jet and finished on a bridge port, while any more complex 3D components were CNC milled. Here we see an assembly video, uh, exploded view, where we have the linear actuator being attached to the base plate, the lower column then being attached to the base plate, the upper column slid down onto the lower column, where you then attach the adjustable bearings and bearing brackets onto the upper column. Then the upper plate will be attached to the linear actuator, and the upper column slid up to the upper plate and finally mounted. During the assembly process, there are two key lessons that we learned. The first being that more time should have been spent designing the electrical system and how it would be best integrated into the column. The second was that more attention should have been paid to powder coat thickness and how it would affect our tolerances. To verify this design, a series of tests were performed um, and some of which are provided on this slide. These tests were used to ensure the stand could hold up to our sponsored specifications and safety standards. Thank you for listening, and for more information, please visit our Expo webpage.